If you currently live stream or in the future you're thinking about live streaming, I think this is worth a real look. I've been playing around with live streaming and I came across the folks at Restream and it kind of blew my mind because for free, you can live stream to up to 30 channels and they have some paid versions and stuff like that. I did a bunch of tests and streams and it was really cool. I was streaming to my main YouTube channel and my other YouTube channel and Twitch and Twitter and my Facebook group and all sorts of stuff like that. Let's go take a look at this product. It's pretty darn neat. Let's just turn these all on and I'll show you what's going on here. Now currently what this says is if I go live using Restream either through OBS or some other facility or that I use their live studio, it's going to stream that to my main YouTube channel, my second YouTube channel, LinkedIn, Facebook, Periscope, that's how you tie into Twitter, it's also free, and Twitch. So let's remove this other second YouTube channel. Pick to add a channel. I'm gonna pick YouTube, connect my YouTube channel. It's that simple to set up any one of these channels. All I would have to do is say enter live studio and it's gonna go out to those channels I turned on and it'll live stream to Facebook and Twitter and Twitch and my two YouTube channels and everything else. The nice thing about this interface over here, if you look is it has all the things that you need. It has a chat box, it has a place to get messages and as people on Facebook and as people on Twitter and as people on both those YouTube channels, etc., are chatting, it will show up where they came from. And when you message them back, they'll get a message back on that service. It's, it's just amazing. This is the, uh, the tool that you just use if you don't want to mess with OBS and everything else. You got a camera set up and a microphone or whatever you're using and you just want to stream away. Right here is the go live button and that's where it will actually start streaming out. Over here we have chat, captions. It's really cool, you can set up captions. For instance, um, here's a caption I set up. Hey, caption testing, cool. Um, here's another caption. Free multi-streaming, that's a link to my thing. I could set up anything I want to. Primary text would be uh, check out, restream, blah, blah, blah. Let's add that caption. You just click on them. Caption testing, that's mine. Cool. Check out Restream, blah, blah, blah. And if you just go here and you just hide it, so you can turn it on and hide it and turn it off. And you can make a bunch of these however you want to do them. Now in graphics, you can do some really neat stuff here. Here is a logo and it's gonna stick that up there over a logo. Well, I just went ahead and loaded in one of my um, little icons, my avatar and I can stick that logo up here, whatever I wanna do. It can be blue, it can be green, it can be whatever I want to do. Now over here on the overlay, you can show an overlay up on this side. And again, that can be your own overlay. It can be a little thing, it can be, hey, click the button, hey, subscribe, hey, send me a super chat or whatever you want to do. Now these are really handy. If you don't wanna go on like me and create this whole crazy countdown timery thing and everything else, uh, you can just use theirs. Let me show you one. It'll take about a minute to play. I'll probably interrupt it. Now over here, you have some little things over here where you can um, tie other people in. You can make it bigger. You can turn yourself off. Bye-bye. You can mute the audio by just clicking on that. Lots of stuff here. Um, down below, you can show participants' names. That's good because if you have one or more people coming in or joining you or whatever, it's kind of nice to see the names in the lower left hand corner. I uploaded one thing, I uploaded this little background. And there's my little background. I could say, hey, please stand by, do, 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 do. And when I'm ready to go, I could just come over here and I could turn me back on and we're back. How about that? Now the setup goes through and says, okay, what titles do you want? What description do you want? For instance, you'll see here, it says Q and A about live streaming. You can go in here and the title can be uh, showing you Restream and a description can be, I just wanted to show you what Restream is all about because I think it's really cool. When I'm ready to do that, I just update all. Now watch down here what happens when I do update all. It's updating all those services, 
showing you Restream. It set all the titles and everything else. You can do that as much as you want. You can invite guests in. For instance, I can go along and grab this link and I can have guests come in. That's what these are. I can do a side-by-side -side vertical with each other in there or horizontal by each other. And I don't have a guest to invite in right now, so I won't be showing you that. That is more or less a quick walkthrough of what their studio is like where you just say, hey, I just got a camera, I got a microphone, or I got a laptop. I just want to go live and I want to go to live to five or 10 or three or one or 30 channels and you get everything you need. And let's say I was going to stream through OBS or some other software. Now on OBS, not that I know of, you can't stream to 30 different services with 30 different keys at the same time. You go in, you go RTMP settings, and this is your stream key. Let's go copy this. Let's set it to Restream IO. So I want to use that stream key, and I'm going to paste that stream key into here. And then over here in OBS, if I say start streaming, it's just going to immediately go out and stream to all these things over here. Boom. I did want to show you this. Let's go over here. This is how you schedule an event in Restream. In other words, what we're going to do is we're going to schedule a future event, much like you would do with YouTube, where you want to schedule something in the future. You're scheduling an event for all those services or whatever ones you pick. Here's the next thing. What we have here is we can upload a video. Like I could take a video that I've made for YouTube. I can upload the video to Restream. When that video is released, I want to release it to all these channels all at the same time, which is awesome. Now over here, we have recordings. What happens is they keep the recordings around. Looks like on October 17th at 9 o'clock a.m. in the morning and did a live stream and they keep kept that recording. So I can go over here and I can download the audio only, which is really helpful. If you do podcast or something like that, you do the video then you download the audio and boom, it goes right over your podcast. You can also download the entire recording and then over here, you can play the video. Okay, over here, these three dots opens up a whole new world of stuff, which is really cool. We went through all these. Let's go look at analytics because this is really neat. If I go into analytics and let me pick my last session, Look at right here. In my last session, it tells me everything I needed to know. I stream to Twitter, to my main channel, to Twitch, to my other channel, LinkedIn, etc., and over on Facebook. And I can see that I had a number of people on average join and bop out the maximum and everything else and how long in real time that occurred. It shows me my connection, shows me all the different users. You can check out how you're doing. Here's chat. What it does is it loads in the different chat statistics. Like I can look here and see I got more chat here. What was I talking about or individually for each channel? Let's go click and go look at some other cool stuff. Here's the chat app. You can download the chat app and open it up in a browser. This basically allows you to grab this and independently, like if you're doing OBS or something, skin your own chat, have it show up, have you respond and everything else. And I'm gonna jump back to the dashboard because I wanna tell you what one of the coolest thing was. This little dude down here, if you're in Restream or you're having a problem or you can't figure something out or you can't have a question, you just click on this little dude here. I got all sorts of stuff in here, another conversation uh, with a bunch of people in here. I basically went in and said, send you a message. I sent them a message and what happened was they got back to me within three or four minutes, like super fast. I tested this thing out. I've streamed to multiple channels and it was flawless. So there you go. If you want to stream to more than one thing when you're live streaming, let's say you're doing Zoom calls and you're doing Skype calls and you're doing something on YouTube and on LinkedIn, or instead of just doing one stream a week, you could do one stream and hit all those different channels at the same time, Restream really is the way to go. I highly recommend it. I've been just having a blast with it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm happy as heck. I I was gonna go with Canon, but I did this, and I'm I'm just really happy. And it's gonna stick that up there in this.